salutation statistic supporters. This is a stats M R returning with another presentation to sleep through. For today's video, I will be discussing some statistics related to sizes of navies around the world. Uh, it'll include the size of the, uh, you know, how many warships a country has, how many submarines, and also a uh, percentage of the warships that are submarines, how many uh, Navy aircraft they have per warship, and then also how many warships a country has per 100 million U.S. dollars of military spending. And I'll also go into which landlocked countries have the largest navy. And I'll explain what I mean by landlocked in a, in a moment. Okay, so by landlocked, I mean a country has access to an ocean. So, as you can see here, um, Mali would be landlocked since it does not have access to the ocean. Now, even if a country has a very small port, for example, Jordan, Jordan appears to be landlocked. However, if we zoom in, we'll notice that it's connected to the uh, Gulf of Aqaba. You see that small little section of Jordan connects to the Gulf of Aqaba, which connects to the Red Sea, which connects to the Indian Ocean. So even if it's a small area, that will still count as not being landlocked. In addition, uh, as long as there is an, an axis or path to the ocean, I will count it as not being landlocked. For example, countries on the Black Sea, for example, Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine, they have access to the Black Sea through the Bosphorus. Now, in reality, Turkey controls the Bosphorus, the Bosphorus, excuse me, because it goes through the largest city in Turkey, Istanbul. Now, in reality, all these countries would need Turkey's permission to go through the Bosphorus, you know, to access the Sea of Marmara and then on to the Aegean and the uh, Mediterranean, and then, you know, as we zoom out, yeah, so Black Sea, Bosphorus, Sea of Marmara, Aegean Sea, then we go to the Mediterranean Sea, as we zoom out, we need to go through the Strait of Gibraltar here between Spain and Morocco, and then out to the Atlantic. Still, there is a path for a ship to travel from Bulgaria, Romania, Ukraine to the Atlantic. So I'm going to count those as not being landlocked. Okay, so I hope that gives uh, an explanation of what I count as landlocked in this analysis. Okay, so now let's go into the statistics. Okay, and, and as always, I'll leave a link in the description to the source I used for the statistics. So we'll start off with the countries with the most warships. As you can see, the uh, People's Republic of China has the most warships at 730, followed up by Russia at 598, then North Korea at 519, the United States of America at 484, Sweden at 367, Indonesia 324, Italy 313, India 295, Thailand 292, Sri Lanka 275, Colombia 265, Finland 246, Egypt 245, Myanmar 210, Algeria at 201, Mexico at 194, Bolivia 170, Spain at 166, South Korea at 157, and Japan at 155. That rounds out the uh, top. Surprisingly, I was surprised that Sweden had that many warships, uh, and I was also surprised at Bolivia. 
Bolivia, I was surprised because they are landlocked. However, they have a lot of ships on uh, Lake uh, Titicaca, which uh, didn't know. It's good to learn something new. And again, I think this is the top 20. Yeah, uh, top not. Yeah, yeah, top 20. So, um, see that most landlocked countries had zero for Navy because, you know, if you're landlocked, you don't really need warships, particularly. You focus more on the Army spending or Air Force, you know, for uh, defense. Now, the only country, according to the data source I looked at, that had zero, that had access to the ocean was Iceland. Iceland had showed zero uh, Navy. So that was interesting. That was the only, like, say, country bordering an ocean that had no, uh, no Navy. Now, these are landlocked countries. Now, so again, it's interesting. So you see Bolivia. Yeah, Paraguay, Laos, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan. Now Turkmenistan, uh, Azerbaijan borders the Caspian Sea. But again, the Caspian Sea doesn't have access to the ocean, so that's why I'm concerned it landlocked. And then Serbia, Kazakhstan. Again, Kazakhstan again has access to the um, Caspian Sea. Then Uganda. Uganda, I believe Lake Victoria. Uganda borders Lake Victoria, but um, it's interesting. I say so Bolivia way up there for landlocked countries. Again, these were the most, uh, you know, all the other landlocked countries had zero. Okay. Now we go from warships to submarines. So in terms of submarines, North Korea has the most at 71. The United States has the second at 67. The People's Republic of China, 59. Russia, 49. Japan is 22, big drop off, then uh, 19 for South Korea, 17 for India, uh, 17 for Iran, 12 for Turkey, 11 for Greece, 10 for the United Kingdom, 8 for Italy, 8 for Egypt, 8 for France, 8 for Pakistan, 8 for Vietnam, 6 for Algeria, 6 for Germany, 6 for Peru, and 6 for Norway. So, you see, big drop off after the top four. Now we go into percent of the Navy that is submarines. So if we take the number of submarines divided by the number of warships. So Iran had the highest percentage of, of warships that are submarines, 16.83, followed by Japan at 14.19, then Australia 13.95, United States 13.84, United Kingdom 13.7, North Korea 13.68, Korea 12.5, South Korea 12.8, and Peru at 9.52, Greece at 9.17, Russia 8.19, the People's Republic of China at 8.08, .08. Turkey at 7.79, Germany at 7.5, Israel at 7.46, Vietnam at 7.34, Pakistan at 7.02, Ecuador at 6.67, the Netherlands at 6.56, and then Canada rounds out the top 20 at 6.56 percent of its warships that are submarines. Next we go into the Navy aircraft per warship. Now, in this, the United States has the most at 5.0. Then Japan at 2.01, and then all the rest are below 2. So France is third at 1.42, the United Kingdom 1.34, Saudi Arabia 0.98, India 0.81, Germany at 0.78, Mexico at 0.74, Ecuador at 0.63, People's Republic of China at 0.6, Brazil at 0.57, Peru at 0.56, Venezuela at 0.54. Australia at 0.53, Argentina at 0.49, Chile 0.45, South Korea at 0.44, Poland at 0.41, Europe at 0.39, then Russia at 0.35. So, 
it's interesting to see different tactics, or not, maybe not tactics, but different emphasis. I say the United States appears to emphasize Navy aircraft per warship. Iran appears to emphasize submarines, and then uh, in North Korea too, and then China appears to emphasize uh, warships, total warships. And then uh, continuing down, then we go to the size of the Navy per $100 million spent. So this takes the total number of warships. Okay. So uh, per $100 million of defense spent. Okay. So with this, if a country, the less a country spent, the higher this number will be, you know, because the smaller denominator. In this case, Sierra Leone has the most warships per $100 million spent at 40, then Liberia 31.57, then Nicaragua 29.76, Sri Lanka 27.9, Bolivia 26.71, Cameroon at 14.388, Montenegro at 13.26, Georgia 12.22, Honduras at 11.71, Paraguay at 11.2, Myanmar 10.55, Ghana at 8.73, Madagascar at 8.16, Albania at 6.57, Guatemala at 5.8, Thailand at 5.53, Egypt at 5.06, Bahrain at 5, Finland at 4.92, and Niger at 4.7. So those countries had the most naval warships per $100 million spent. For uh, this video, um, probably the next statistics video I'll do it will be related to kind of postseason predictions for uh, baseball. But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. This is A Stats M R. Uh, wishing that your efforts have a positive correlation with the results. So long.